Hi there. This is even more horror in the Mora, and it's loosely based again on the Esserman Van Veli game from Orlando in 2011. E4 and C5, the Mora gambit with D4, takes on D4, C3 giving up a pawn, black takes D takes on C3, and the recapture knight takes on C3. Open lines for white, active play as a compensation for the pawn which black has just taken. So knight c6 can be bet by knight f3, to which black can try the e6 defense as opposed to the d6 defense. e6 brings about bishop c4, which inhibits the freeing move d5 by black. a6 supporting a b5 thrust on the queen side. And after white castles, black first plays knight g e7, and then bishop g5 pinning by black, inviting this f6 uh, type of weakness. So the bishop drops back to e3. And white hopes to prove that uh, these pawns on the king side are now uh, compromised. When knight g6 is played first as opposed to b5, the bishop first on c4 drops back in anticipation of b5, which indeed is played. And then white throws in this typical peace sacrifice in the Sicilian knight d5, which we've explored in previous videos. In the said game, Esserman against Venveli, Venveli did indeed take on d5. Nothing wrong with that. It's still more or less equal, but white will enjoy a much more natural, fluid and easy game. After e takes on d5, the knight should jump to e5 and uh, black will have to really defend desperately in order to prove his equality. If instead of going to e5, knight a5 will hear, the game is actually lost. Let's see why. The bishop is being targeted. That menacing bishop on b3 is being targeted, but white ignores it. Plays rook e1. And the threat now is, of course, bishop b6, because if they say knight takes on b3, bishop b6 is check. That's picking up the black queen and winning the game. So knight takes on b3 for black is not an option. And if bishop e7, black would desperately like to castle, then d6 hits that bishop again. If now knight takes on b3 first, giving, but trying to give up the piece to allow castling, then a takes on b3. Because if black now does castle, then white will win with with a queen to d5, which is check, and that's going to pick up the rook on a8. If instead of castling, black realizes that he can't do so and tries not castling, but bishop b7 instead, then white will win after d takes on e7. Again, the queen can't take the pawn on e7 because the bishop on e3 will simply move, unveiling a, uh, a hit on the queen. For example, if queen takes on e7, bishop c5 hits the queen as well as the queen being hit by the rook. So queen can't take on e7. If queen moves to b8, then white will win with either, say, a move like rook c1 or even b4 is a decent move, supporting bishop c4 and maybe in some variations queen b3 and white winning in all variations. So this has been even more horror in the Mora. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.